my friends and welcome back to another unboxing video not really unboxing with this item but we're going to go ahead and show you guys so this is a four pack travel bottle outdoor kit uh it's actually a nine piece kit but it says four pack so i'm assuming let's just well it's not good to assume so let's just open this up and show you guys everything you get man they fit a lot of stuff in here so these are silicone bottles and you twist the cap, fill them up with water, twist the cap back on. They're supposed to be airtight and you, you can drink from them or put whatever you want in there. Let's see here. It looks like you get a spray bottle as well. So you can mix your, your own solution in there if you'd like. So let's see, looks like you got little canisters for for something, pills maybe. You can put some pills in there, uh, different stuff when you're camping. So this is actually going to be going in our bug out bag. Um, let's see here. So this looks like a silicone. Interesting. So let's see if the manual actually goes over a couple of these things. So I want to give you decals for lotion or whatnot. So you could put some lotion in some of these. Um, yeah, so you can put water, lotion, shampoo, all kinds of stuff in each different one. Um, so that's actually a plus. Each one, different lotions, you know, chapsticks, different stuff you can put in each different one. So that's pretty cool. So it's a, it is actually a really nice travel kit. Each bottle is three fluid ounces. Huh, very nice. So, um, you know, not just water. So you can put in up to four different lotions, four different shampoos, drinks, you know, sneak some drinks in there, you know. <laughs> but uh, overall, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I was going to put these in our bug out bag, but I actually might take two of these for when we go on vacations um, and then have two for bug out bags um, because I've seen people use these for water that's what I actually originally got it for um, but I think I actually am going to use these for shampoo so we just got to make sure that it's airtight this one doesn't appear to be airtight something so let's see if we can pull this up here. Now let's try it. I think the rubber strap was, there we go. So now it's airtight. If it's not airtight, if you squeeze it and you hear air, uh, what you do is you pull off this cap. There's going to be a little rubber on the top. Pull that up like this. So just pull it up. Make sure that's up high and then place your cap back on. And now it's airtight, airtight, airtight. So they're all airtight, but if you do squeeze it and you can hear air when the cap is on, just do that and you'll be fine. Overall, it's a nice kit. 